Alright, hello everyone, my name is Joel from Back to the Channel, and in today's video, I'll be reviewing set number 40721, The Halloween Barn. This set contains 205 pieces and resells for £12.99 in the UK. So on the box, we have the set itself, with a nice little purpley, foresty background. On the back of the box, we can see a completely different size of the set when it's also opened up. So upon opening this box, I was pretty surprised to find 5 numbered bags, which was kind of crazy to me, considering how small of a set this is. I was gonna film this for the first bag, but then like completely forgot. But look how ridiculous this is. So for one bag in this tiny set, it just has these few parts. Like this is less than a poly bag. And like this is just a £12 sale, 15 I, I, I forgot how much this cost. But one whole bag for just that is kind of ridiculous when you consider the fact that Lego is literally trying to reduce plastic waste. Like why did you need five fucking bags in this tiny set? Like, it's just that. Why do you need five plastic bags? If it was paper, then it would have been a waste, but fair enough, I guess. But the fact they're plastic bags is just kind of confusing to me. Uh, anyways, yeah, I just built up this alcoholic uh, skeleton. I don't know why they included this. But yeah, the skeleton is an uh, alcoholic, and yeah, I just found that funny. But the build for this was honestly pretty straightforward. It was nothing crazy. The amount of bags was a little bit annoying, but it was nothing crazy. It was just kind of like a standard small like a set build. All right, and here's the final product. And I have to say, I am pretty impressed by this. It's feels like you're getting quite a bit for your money, especially compared to other sets in the similar price range. So this whole set is built on an 8 by 16 base plate. So on the front we have some nice little rocks sort of leading up to the barn itself. And then we got some nice greenery outside to sort of represent grass slash like moss or something. We have a little lantern and then we have like these black venom looking things. I'm not too sure what they are, but they definitely give the set a bit of a spooky feel. Then on the left side of the set we have a nice little tree, which is nothing too crazy. It's just kind of a small build for a tree. But I think they've done a half decent job at this. I feel like maybe they could have done with a few more leaves. I'm not too sure what exactly they were trying to do, but it is a decent little tree. Now on the other side of the set, we have a little yellow leaf that sort of fell from the tree. And for the barn itself, I absolutely love the dark green and brown masonry bricks. Unfortunately, there is only two brown masonry bricks. At the bottom, I thought there was going to be another one, but that's just a plate. But yeah, I absolutely love the use of those pieces. Now, I do also have one small issue with the set, and that's the roof. I don't know, this bit on the side, like, how they've done this with the overhang it just looks a little bit off to me i'm not too sure what they could have done to like improve it but i don't know it's just something very weird about it all right let's move on to the main sort of feature of the set and that's the fact that it turns into a monster now this really just gives off hidden side vibes which i absolutely love that theme by the way this should be a video out on friday but yeah you can open these two purple doors to reveal the mouth of the monster and then you can open this window up top to reveal the eye and then you've got this pretty cool looking monster <laughs> also i like the fact they use red on the inside side of the barn doors to sort of represent its gum. But yeah, I feel like it's very neat they managed to pack this play feature into a set that's only two studs deep. Another thing that looks a little bit off in my opinion is this random bright green plant piece just on the roof. I don't know why but it looks kind of out of place in my opinion. Now on top of the barn we do have a bat which just kind of gives it more of a spooky look. Then some things I do like as well is these two X's and these two 1x3 tiles. And I just think it helps with the sort of run down look of the barn. On the inside of the barn there's this little pot and also a beer bottle accessory piece. And then in this figure, we of course got one minifigure, which is pretty much just a skeleton. But yeah, for $12.99, I think it's just a great little display piece, especially for Halloween as like a decoration. But yeah, I wouldn't normally make a review on a set this small, but I just kind of wanted to post something for Halloween. So yeah, happy Halloween to everyone out there. And yeah, let me know your thoughts on this set in the comments. Like, sub, do all that stuff, and goodbye.